Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix doc caused a stir among royal watchers around the world, dividing opinions over the long-running saga of the Sussexes' relationship with the firm. Meghan and Harry have been criticized by a royal commentator who has claimed the couple killed off any respect the public once held for them. The Sussexes' docuseries, Harry Meghan, dropped earlier this month in two parts on December 8 and 15, with both including three episodes. But Angela Levin, who who wrote Harry, a biography of a prince, labeled it a load of nonsense, despite part one racking up 81.55 million hours of viewing in the first four days after its release. You get to a sort of mature age, your late teens, you start to see the impression you give. The fact that they couldn't see they were killing. Any respect anyone could have for them with this six hours of boredom, which I watched all the way through. Surely, they, realize this is ridiculous, Ms. Levin told Talk TV in her 2022 Royal Roundup. The couple's show may have backfired and ended up hurting their own public image, Ms. Levin believes. She added, I think that, actually, they've destroyed themselves quite a lot. The comments come after a difficult year for the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II's death marked the end of an era following her 70-year reign. A few months later, the Sussexes released the docuseries which detailed their own struggle of adjusting to royal life and their difficulties dealing with the media attention which came as a result. It was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and have my father say things that simply weren't true, and my grandmother sit there and sort of take it all in, Prince Harry said of the firm in the fifth episode of the show. Meghan also spoke out about her treatment in the media when the press learned of her and Prince Harry's relationship. In the first episode, she said, at that point, I was still very much believing what I was being told, which was it will pass it will get better, it's just what they do right at the very beginning. This promise of once you're married, don't worry, it'll get better, once they get used to you it'll get better, of course it'll get better. But truth be told, no matter how hard I tried, no matter how good I was, no matter what I did, they were still going to find a way to destroy me. The couple split as working members of the firm in 2020 and moved to Montecito, California. A few months later, Meghan and Harry gave a bombshell interview to TV megastar Oprah Winfrey. They now reside in California with their two children, Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1.